as it happens, I was very nearly a wrongful birth. My mum, when she had me, they had a test. This is back in 1980, 79, 80 would have happened. And the test would, was showed some sort of abnormality. And they said to her, you've either got twins or you're, you have a, one child with spina bifida. Spina bifida is a condition where your spinal column doesn't really connect to your brain. She had a scan and there were no twins. So she was told, you've got, you're gonna have, the kid's going to have spina bifida and you can have an abortion. Now, she didn't take that up. She decided to go ahead with have the child have me because she wanted to have me. She wanted to have a child and she was willing to risk looking after me as a disabled child. So I found my real, my, my born name is Stephen. But the reason it's Stephen, my dad's called Stephen. And actually they didn't have a name for me because they didn't, weren't entirely sure I'd be born alive or born with any form of future or viability. So I'm a wrongful birth. My mum was said, told he's not worth having he's going to be too damaged, he's going to be disabled, you should probably have an abortion. She ignored it. She decided to have a, have a baby and, and take the risk and, uh, and see what happens. And so I wouldn't be sitting here today. I wouldn't be talking to you now if she hadn't decided, which in a way that I'm, I don't really think I'm as grateful to her as I should be for doing that because there is a massive problem. It's such a burden, such a difficult thing to look after a very seriously disabled child, which I was likely to be. And she ignored that and she decided to go ahead. So this story matters to me a little bit. Is there such a thing as a wrongful birth? And I feel it because I'm, I'm a wrongful birth. I shouldn't be here. I should have been aborted because I looked like I had some condition, a condition that would have made my life miserable. But my mum took the chance and she ignored it. And had my mum followed the advice, followed the notion that I was going to be a wrongful birth, I wouldn't be here now. So the question I want you to tell me about today is, is a disabled child something that the NHS should be apologising for? Is the existence of a disabled child something the NHS should be saying? We should have spotted it was disabled and you should have had an abortion. We didn't, so we're going to compensate you. We're going to apologise. Can that be right? One couple are on the cusp of successfully suing the NHS because their daughter was born with microcephaly, which is an abnormal smallness of the head. The mum had 10 ultrasounds and nobody spotted it. And her judges said the doctors have been negligent. So care for that disabled little girl will be expensive, will be emotionally draining and hard and thankless. So shouldn't the state, shouldn't the NHS that didn't spot, spot the condition pay for that care? That makes me think a little, does it you? But I start from the position that the NHS shouldn't be giving compensation because they didn't spot a disability that should have led for an abortion. And I think the idea of wrongful birth is abhorrent, isn't it? Because all life has possibilities, doesn't it?